The life and sad ending of Will Hutchins. Will Hutchins was born Marshall Lowell Hutchison on May 5, 1930, in Los Angeles, United States, and went to Pomona College and UCLA while spending two years as an Army cryptographer. Hutchins was discovered by a talent scout for Warner Brothers, who changed his name from Marshall Lowell Hutchison to Will Hutchins. The young actor's easygoing manner was compared to Will Rogers, the Oklahoma humorist. His contract led him to guest appearances in Warner Brothers' television programs, such as Conflict, in which he appeared in three hour-long episodes, including his screen debut as Ed Masters in The Magic Brew on October 16, 1956. Hutchins was also cast as a guest star on Cheyenne, Bronco, Maverick, and 77 Sunset Strip. He had small roles in the Warner's movies Bombers B-52 in 1957, Lafayette Escadrille in 1958, and No Time for Sergeants in 1958 where he screen tested for the lead of Will Stockdale with James Garner playing the psychiatrist. Hutchins leapt to national fame in the lead of Sugarfoot. During the series run he guest starred on other Warner Brothers shows such as The Roaring Twenties, Bronco, and Surfside Six. Warners tried him in the lead of a feature, Young and Eager in 1961 a.k.a. Claudel English with Diane McBain. He tried another pilot for a series, Howie, that was not picked up and appeared in the Warners war film with Jeff Chandler, Merle's Marauders in 1962, a picture filmed in the Philippine Islands, and Chandler's last acting role. And co-starred in a two-year stage tour of Never Too Late. After this Hutchins left Warners. Hutchins' guest starred on Gunsmoke and the Alfred Hitchcock Hour. While appearing in a play in Chicago in late 1963, he was flown to Los Angeles to shoot a television pilot for MGM, Bert I. Gordon's Take Me to Your Leader, in which Hutchins played a Martian salesman who came to Earth. Though the pilot was not picked up, it led MGM to sign him for Spinout, in which he co-starred as Lieutenant Tracy Richards Dick Tracy backward alongside Elvis Presley. Also in 1963, he appeared on an episode of Gunsmoke. In S8, EP24, Blind Mont's Bluff, his character was Billy Poe. In 1965, Hutchins co-starred with Jack Nicholson and Warren Oates in Monty Hellman's The Shooting. In 1966, he made a guest appearance on the CBS courtroom drama series Perry Mason as murderer Don Hobart in the case of the Scarlet Scandal. He later also appeared as Dan Haynes in the new Perry Mason in 1973 in the episode, The Case of the Deadly Deeds. Actress Jodie Foster was in this same episode. From 1966 to 1967, he co starred with Sandy Barron in Hay, Landlord, set in a New York City apartment building. The program followed Walt Disney's Wonderful World of Color, but it failed to attract a sustaining audience against CBS's The Ed Sullivan Show and ABC's The FBI with Ephraim Zimbalist Jr., his former Warner Brothers colleague. Hutchins was reunited with Presley in Clambake in 1967. From 1968 to 1969, Hutchins starred as Dagwood Bumstead in a CBS television version of the comic strip Blondie. He traveled to South Africa to appear in Shangani Patrol in 1970 playing Frederick Russell Burnham. He also began appearing in circuses as Patches the Clown. Back in the United States, Hutchins' guest starred on Love, American Style, Emergency, Chase, Movin' On, The Streets of San Francisco, and The Quest. He was in the horror at 37,000 feet in 1973, Slumber Party 57 in 1976, and The Happy Hooker Goes to Washington in 1977. Hutchins had roles in Roar in 1981, Gunfighter in 1999, and The Romantics in 2010. As is often the case with an instant TV star, there is an eventual downswing, and in the late 60s, Will started to flounder badly. In his case, 
he turned his back on Hollywood and became, of all things, a ringmaster and clown for various circuses. Will has also worked behind the scenes for NBC and still attends conventions on occasion. More recently the 2004 Cincinnati Old Time Radio Convention, where he received the Stone Waterman Award. In personal life, Will was married twice the first time to Barbara Torres in 1965, but they broke up shortly after in 1969. Will also backed up Elvis Presley in three of his mediocre film efforts. Hutchins wed Carol Burnett's younger sister, Chrissy Burnett. They divorced in later years. Probably, right now is his worst time when his health is slowly deteriorating. Thank you for listening to the story about the life of Will Hutchins. Like and comment on your opinion in the comments section below.